Championships won by Pavel Maslak with Abdelale Haroun of Qatar taking second. Dion Lundor, though, on the final leg for Trinidad and Tobago, was the bronze medalist in the uh, individual 400 metres with Braylon Taplin taking fourth and Kenz Moraisa fifth. Lelon Gordon sixth. So remember that Trinidad and Tobago had two finalists in that individual 400. Set. Away they go, Trinidad and Tobago in red on the inside, then Nigeria in the green, the blue of the Bahamas in lane three, the yellow Jamaica outside them third to left, USA in the red, second to left, and the Belgium on the outside have gone off well, but the Bahamian leader by Michael Mathieu has blasted through his first 150, they break from lanes there, Mathieu and Peter to the good, USA in second place, Belgium on the shoulder of the American Clemens, and Dylan Borley who in third place, and down the back straight, did Mathieu go up too quickly, will he be able to hold on to this? Clemens moving well now, Carl Clemens carries the pass with so much experience, running wide around the bend here. The Nigerians begin to struggle to the back of the field and Trinidad and Tobago a few metres down, but he's held on really well here as Michael Mathieu. USA in first, Bahamas in second, Jamaica third, Belgium fourth. Great look, uh, first leg wasn't it by the Bahamians and they're in hot pursuit of the American team with work to do for Hyatt for Jamaica, Belgium now in, in third place. Well, the uh, Bahamians are determined to give them a run for their money, aren't they, the USA? But they are in control at the moment. This is Calvin Smith Jr. His father, remembers the world record holder at 100 metres and a world champion too. Into the back straight, uh, halfway round this second leg. And Smith still striding up strongly. But look at Russell for the Bahamas, Alonzo Russell. He's busting a gut to get round the American. Can't make it as he goes to the final bend on this second leg. Good running from Belgium. Jonathan Pauley on this leg was for Belgium. And coming through really strongly to Grindan Tobago. That's a super leg from Lalon Gordon, the individual finalist. The four Oh, the Belgians have dropped the button. Oh, my word, it's gone. Gone. The Belgian hopes are ruined. USA in the lead, in the lead now, with the Geesing out in front, Christopher Geesing from the Bahamas, disaster left the Belgians, what a shame, we'll never know what's going to happen, Hart it is, on this third leg, Ford Bahamas, Chavez Hart, chasing hard, but the Americans beginning to ease away, Trinidad and Tobago, with Ale Alain Ford on this third leg for them, Jamaica back in fourth, but surely can't get back to the medals now as they come in towards the final changeover with the USA not far ahead, as I would have expected. Well, I was just about to say, it's all going very smoothly, unlike in the women's event, but then Belgium got the baton. They are back in contention, at least back in the race, but uh, USA stretching away on the final leg. Into the final 400 metres then, and the last event of the four days of action in Portland. And he will carry the baton to glory, Bones is asked to burn Norwood, the American individual champion, for the USA. He's way out in front, 20 metres to the good now. Bahamas in second place, Trinidad and Tobago in third. Remember the individual bronze medalist, Dion Lendor, uh, in the 400 metres. Trying to get past Craig, looking supreme. That gap now 20 metres. Norwood can enjoy these last 20 metres after this qualification individual of it. USA take gold here against the capital. Bahamas hang on to second group this round. Trinidad and Tobago, despite Lendor's good individual form, couldn't get through to the bronze. They, the three teams that will make the rock and the medal ceremonies in the downtown in the square where all the presentations have taken place over the last three days about a mile and a half away, and the Belgians, well, pity poor old Jonathan Borley on that second leg, dropped the pass, I don't know if he didn't take it cleanly,